You're probably asking yourself, why should I fork a repo instead of cloning it? Cloning is a lot easier. Well, that's a good question. You first have to answer the question, am I interested in contributing back to the main line or do I just want to peruse the repo? If you wish to just simply peruse the repo, then a clone is just fine. Whereas if you wish to contribute to the open source project, then it does require a fork. Here's usually my workflow when it comes to forking and making changes. One, I just fork the repo. Two, I will clone down my forked repo. Three, I'm gonna make the changes to my main branch. Four, I'm gonna push my changes up to my fork's main branch. Five, I'm gonna open up a PR with my changes from my fork onto the original repo, along with a nice detailed explanation of what I have changed and why. And finally, I get rejected, go home, cry a little bit, skill issues, but nonetheless, I tried. And that's what really counts, doesn't it? It's also worth noting that whenever I clone down my fork, I also add a second remote that I call upstream that points to the original repo. And the reason is, that when the original repo changes, I can bring in their changes. And that way, when I fix something, I know that I'm fixing on the latest version. I'm not accidentally fixing something somebody else has already fixed. This also avoids having conflicts during PRs. And if you wish for your PR not to be rejected, here's some pretty helpful hints. Number one, whenever I make a PR, before I hit that button and say, make it live to everybody, I review my code on GitHub. This weird thing happens to me. Whenever I review code on GitHub, I seem to catch things that I don't catch when I'm in my own environment. I kind of think of this as editor blindness. You're so used to everything that when you see it in a concise, different way, you just see mistakes you've made so much easier. Probably most importantly is make sure the maintainers want these changes. Spend the time looking through the repos issues. Make sure you've searched and validated that this really is an issue. And if there's no mention of it, open up an issue. Tell the maintainers you're willing to fix it and see if they want your fixes. You may find that maintainers actually do not wish for you to participate or others, they may want you to fix it, but in a completely different way. As long as you're polite in your communication and you're very clear as to what you're trying to fix, you will find that often maintainers are very happy to have you come on board and help out.